All right, so today we've got a bit of a different kind of news video, and essentially, the people who run the global side of the game kinda effed up. I mean, what else is new? But this one is really big, it's really bad, because they accidentally revealed some information in the global database that they probably didn't want to get out there, and obviously people like Hydros, Kawai, I seriously, and other data miners found this information and shared it with us on Twitter. So a big shout out to all of them, specifically Hydros for this video because we are using his page as a reference. And the things we learned about are stuff like, you know, link level probabilities, uh, banner SSR rates, and also some specific details about the next Dokkan Fest banner on Global, which is for the Fizz Super Saiyan Kid Trunks and Super Saiyan Kid Goten. So, with all that said, let's uh, jump right into it. And the first thing we have here is a table for the link level probabilities or the likelihood that a link will level or increase from one level to the next. Now, I'm not exactly sure how stamina plays into this because I think it's generally accepted that the higher the stamina cost of a stage you're on, the more likely your link levels will increase or level up, right? But let's assume that all things are equal, let's assume you're on like, you know, 23.8 in the story or something like that, and you have a link that's level one, then there is gonna be a 80% chance that it goes from level one to level two. And then from level two to level three, it's a 50% chance. Level three to level four, it's a 30% chance. Four to five is 20%, five to six, 10%, six to seven, 9%, seven to eight, 7%, eight to nine, 5%. And then from nine to 10 is only 3%. So if you're wondering why it's so hard to get a link from nine to 10, why you have a lot of links that are always stuck, at level 9 is because the rate for its increase is very very low and obviously there are other factors that play into it like stamina for example so these numbers are not going to be equal across the board but what we do know for sure is that obviously it gets harder and harder to increase a link's level as you progress through the you know from levels 1 to 10 and uh, it's you know a pretty steep drop in probability from each level to the next. So yeah, there you go, 3% relative to, you know, from one to two, which is 80%, right? So that's pretty interesting. Obviously, it's not gonna really affect how we play the game, I guess. I think 23.8 is probably still the best level to farm link levels, but it's just kind of cool to see these numbers, these concrete numbers, right? Now from there, let's move on to some other details. Um, so he says we have the exact gotcha rates for Dokkan, and here is a little table. Now, it's um, not really giving us too much information, but essentially what we take away from this is that gotcha rates are what they say they are. You know, like when you click on the banner details for any banner, it tells you like, you know, 5% for featured SSRs, 10% for all SSRs in general, and then there's an SR rate, there's an R rate, and so on and so forth, um, they're accurate. Okay, so there's no rig rates going on. You know, anybody that wants to talk about like a conspiracy with Bandai or Dokkan where they're rigging the rates for certain characters or whatever, that's not the case. Okay, all the rates are exactly as they tell us it is. Of course, they didn't want to give us like that exact information in the database, but this seems to be some kind of mistake that they made that they accidentally revealed. And it's good to know that, you know, now that we have this information, it is what they say it is, right? So yeah, rates in Dokkan, not rigged, confirmed officially, okay? And uh, from there, like I said, we have the information about Super Saiyan Goten and Super Saiyan Trunks' banner. And the information we have is the featured units, which is never, this has never been a thing before, you know? like. Obviously, we can use the JP banner as a reference always, right? But if there's any changes or anything like that, we don't know until the banner actually comes out. But this time, because they had this leak, we know exactly who's featured. And we also know the step up feature of this banner, which we wouldn't have known before, right? So uh, first things first, the featured units are obviously Trunks and Goten, Tectrillin, the two new units, 
And then we have LR Gohan and Goten, or the Gobros. Int Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, guys. He's finally back. He's replacing the Fizz Angel Frieza from JP's banner. And I feel like I gotta give myself a bit of a pat on the back for this one, because I called it yesterday in the Pass or Pull video. And I was like, yo, if they replace Frieza, which is most likely gonna happen, because he was just featured, it's gotta be in Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, right? So, if you guys saw that video, you guys know your boy did call it. So, there we go, Int Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta making a return. And then we have Int Gotenks, the transforming one that goes from uh, base to Super Saiyan 3. And then we have Tech Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. We're not base, uh, starts as Super Saiyan. Oh, yeah, no, no, never mind. Yeah, base to Super Saiyan 3. And then we have the uh, Tech Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. We have Tech Fat Boo that uh, has the exchange mechanic, and then we have the STR Super Boo. So, compared to the JP banner, literally the exact same banner with the exception of Int Gogeta replacing uh, Angel Golden Frieza, okay? And there is also a step up mechanic. So, just like we had with the uh, Kepler banner, and I think the Beerus banner, and maybe another one, maybe Bojack, I forgot, but either way, um, there is that kind of global exclusive for the time being step up mechanic where we have three steps The first step is 25 stones. The second step is 30 stones. The third step is 45 stones and the 45 stone multi Guarantees you a featured unit. Okay, by the way, it's not full multis. I believe it's something like six characters for this one and then Maybe seven for this one and then this one is a full multi but you get a guaranteed featured unit. So, of course, your chances of getting, you know, Trunks and Goten or Krillin is much higher on that final multi, right? And then from there, it's going to be full-priced 50 stone multis. It's only the first three steps. Okay, it's not going to be like a 3 plus 1. There's no free multi or anything like that, okay? But it's just really cool that we got this stuff. We got this information because, like... As I said, in the past, we would always have to wait until the painter comes out, right, to, to find out, because they don't reveal this stuff normally. And I don't think they're going to reveal it again, because this definitely seems like a mistake, but if they keep doing it, I'm all for it, right? Because, like, it makes it easier for us to decide, even before a banner comes out, what to do with our stones, whether we want to summon or not, right? But, um, yeah, this is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. So let's see, uh, SSR rarity rate weight, 1,000 to 10,000 equals 0 0.1 times 100 equals 10% chance for SSR on go 10 slash trunks banner. So there you go, 10% SSR rate as it claims in game, right? And uh, yeah, there's no free multi, he says, for the go 10 and trunks banner. Step three is guaranteed feature SSR. And that seems to be it, guys. That seems to be it. He's very excited about the Friends <laughs> reunion. I am too, actually. That's coming out. Oh, that's today. That's today. I gotta watch out with my mom. Okay. So, let's see. Uh, rates of Dokkan Battle aren't rigged, at least in terms of the database numbers. We're able to see thanks to their mess giving us data that we weren't meant to see, but the calcs add up. To, uh, the rates are as advertised. So, there you have it, guys. And, um... Oh, whoa. Hold on. We just got some new information. Live update. Live update. Okay, so he says, This is my best guess on the link level calculations. There is a lot of factors like characters, number of links per character, and number of enemies spawned when stage is started for chances to gain level ups, etc. This is rough, but most I can make sense of right now. Um, link level up calculation. Link level 1 to 2, 80% probability, 23, 8 stage, 1.0375 probability rate. Kind of confusing, guys. <laughs> um, if you guys can make sense of it, I mean, I gotta think about this for a second, so I'm not gonna really be able to kind of explain to you guys live. I'll probably figure it out after the video, like right after. I'll be pissed at myself, but right now, you guys can take a look. The point is, though, um, it gets significantly harder to level up your links, and these are the numbers, I guess, all things equal that we saw earlier, but of course there are other factors that play into it, so take this with a, a grain of salt, I guess. But um, yeah, I guess that's all there is to talk about. Oh, oh, actually, never mind. There is one more thing I want to talk about. Let's head over to I Seriously page, because he does have some interesting information about uh, this upcoming 
like login bonus that Global is going to be getting. And we'll be able to get 6th anniversary tickets for the general kind of like SSR 6th anniversary banner um, over the course of the month of June. So it says here, throughout the month of June, in order to collect 7 tickets for the 6th anniversary uh, portal or banner, you will need to log in on 25 different days during the month. Be careful not to miss this mission. Yeah, so starting on the 1st, obviously in like 3-4 days from now. Uh, wait, hold, hold on. How many days are in, are in May? 31 days. So in 5 days, this um, login bonus will start. And you just got to make sure you log in for most of the days during June. And you'll get up to 7 tickets for this banner. Of course, it's just a way to like hype people up for the anniversary. But I don't really think they need to hype us up, uh, hype us up anymore because most people are already probably pretty excited for the anniversary. So uh, that's going to be a thing. But aside from that, that is everything there is to talk about. At least if, uh, as it pertains to Global, there are some JP details that you guys might have heard about, which uh, I might cover in a separate video if I have time. But I just wanted to make sure that everybody was aware of like this Global database thing <laughs> that happened because... It's pretty interesting, it's pretty funny, and it just seems like a very global thing to do, if I'm being honest. But that's it guys, thank you so much for watching, big shout out to I Seriously, to Hydros, Kawai, uh, everybody else who got this information for us. Let's hope that they keep doing this, but I highly, highly doubt it, they're probably gonna fix it um, you know, before the next major banner or whatever. But uh, yeah, there you go guys. That's all I gotta say. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic day fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.